Hi, I'm Anthony Tagto, Cessna Aircraft Company and the Cessna Structures Group. Today, we'll be talking about fastener substitutions. When adapting the typical repairs shown in the maintenance manuals to suit actual conditions, it can be found necessary to use different fasteners than those factory installed. This can be because a particular fastener is not available due to restricted access or other difficulties. Care must be taken to check fastener head marking, actual fastener size, and the condition of the holes. The following information will be needed when assessing whether or not a fastener is eligible to be replaced with a substitute. First, we must identify the fastener that is currently installed in the aircraft. Most rivets are identified with a marking on the head. Locate that marking and refer to the structural repair manual for assistance identifying the fastener if needed. In this example, we're looking at the 525 series SRM chapter 51-40-02 figure 1. Once you've identified the fastener, you can now refer to the fastener substitution section in the SRM for allowable substitutes. In this example, we are once again in the 525 series SRM, chapter 514004. In this chapter, it shows the allowable substitute for certain common fasteners. For example, you can substitute a CR3214 pull rivet for a CM3827AD or NAS1097 driven rivet. Remember that there are substitution factors for rivet replacement and they are as follows. The quantity of substitute rivets required, shear strength, gauge of material to be riveted, and rivet spacing. If there are any questions regarding the substitution of fasteners, how many fasteners in a row can be substituted, or what replacements are allowed, please contact the structures group at csstructures at cessna.com or you can call us at 316-517-6061 for assistance.